All right, folks, now, right now, you should have already set up your autoresponder for your MLSP uh, opt-ins that you're going to be having, you know, when you're when you're promoting the lead capture pages and things of that nature. So now what we need to do is create our autoresponding list for our leads that are going to be coming in that are interested in our business opportunity, our primary business. So, so we're going to talk about that. I'm going to walk you through a lot of the pretty much the same steps, a few minor differences here and there, but, but pretty much the same thing. But again, remember disclaimer, if you don't, if you don't quite understand why we're doing certain things, doesn't matter. Just do what I'm doing and you'll be fine because you'll get it all in the end. In as we continue the training over the next several weeks. So, so, uh, so just go ahead and jump in. It's going to get, get started here real quick. So, uh, you should already be logged in into your account. And uh, so go ahead and make sure that you go back to the dashboard piece. That's what I'm on. I'm on my dashboard. So what we're going to need to do again is now we need to create an, a campaign name for our primary biz op. Um, so we, you want to come here, you want to click on the little field there to the far right where the arrow is showing. And then right there, you want to click on create campaign again. So pretty much the same thing. You, you, you ought to be an expert by now, right? So you click on that. Again, it's going to take you to this page right here. What do you call it? Pretty much whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. Again, nobody sees the campaign name. It's only for you to be able to know what each campaign represents. Because remember, you can have multiple campaigns. You can have a campaign for MLSP, a campaign of, of, of emails for your primary business, a campaign for emails for your product or service that are specific to your a specific product or service or campaigns for whatever. It's again, so you can have a lot of different campaigns. That's why you got to give it a name so you'll know what that campaign represents. Okay. So what we're going to do here you want to actually put in your campaign name, what you want to put in. I'm not for sure what, whatever you, your name is. I'm just going to put my MLM leads 2015. And again, that's mine, you know, so, uh, that's at least one of mine. Right. So, and, and again, it can be whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. it. Just has to be all lowercase, no spaces. I don't think you can put any like special characters in there either. Uh, but again, if you do, it'll give you an error and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. And again, if you choose a campaign and it says it's already taken, add a, you know, a couple letters or something or whatever, or just change it all, you know, all the way through. So it's just totally up to you. So from here, you click on that and click on create campaign. And remember, it's really that simple. Give it a name, click on create campaign and boom, we're done. That's how you create a campaign. Really, really, really simple. So from here, we want to do the exact same thing we did in the previous video. We want to go to messages. We click on messages. It's going to bring down the drop down field. Remember, I've already created some messages that you can use for your primary business opportunity that are more geared around your biz op. Okay. So, and, and they're pretty generic. So it, they'll go with any kind of business that you're promoting. And you can even go into there and change and make a few additions or whatever, if you want to, but I created a, a basic format, uh, of, of messages that you can use right now. So if you don't want to go in there and make all these different kinds of changes and add this and add that, you're not quite sure what to say or what not to say. Don't even worry about it. Just use the ones that I've already created. Okay. Making, making it really, really simple for you guys. So all you have to do from here, Let's click on right where it says preload. Remember that you just click on preload because remember, so now what you're attempting to do, you're attempting to request the email messages that I've already created. That's in my get response account. And you're going to move those messages from my account into yours. Okay. Or basically a copy of those messages into yours. Okay. Really, really simple. So you click on preload When you click on preload. It's going to bring you back to this same page again. Remember, remember that. So you come back here. What you got to do is, change source account. Okay. Cause we're, we're going to a different account. That's where we're, we're attempting. You're actually attempting to, to connect with my get response account right now. So you click on change source account. Once you do that, it's going to bring, you know, it's going to change the format of the page a little bit from there. You want to click on where it says user account. Well, we don't want to, you, you're not trying to log into my account. You're just trying to request a campaign that I've already created. So you click on that drop down, click on campaign. Cause that's what you're trying to do is request a campaign that's already been created. Click on that. Once you click on that, it's going to change the page a little bit. It's going to change it from account fields to campaign name fields. And then from there, make sure that you click on where it says include predefined fields. Just make sure you just go ahead and click on that. Then from there, you want to put your, you know, the campaign name that I've already created. Very important right here. You want to make sure that you type in my biz op messages. It's M Y B I Z O P P M E S S A G E S. My biz op 
messages all one word not there's no spaces or anything as you can see just type that in why you have to do that because that's the name of the campaign that i created that has all those different messages that i've been telling you about okay so you put that there once you do that make sure that your destination campaign is set remember i just created a campaign right it's it's my mlm leads 2015 remember that's my campaign name i created that so i got that set up correctly so i don't know what yours is and remember yours is going to be something totally different we're not going to have you're never going to have the same campaign names with the ones that you create okay so that's the one that you created so just make sure that your destination campaign is set to the one that you created okay so you make sure that that field shows right there and then from there you want to come down here and click on login when you click on login that little field's gonna pop up. And again, just like we did in the previous video, you just hit okay. When you click on okay, then you're gonna see these messages populate right here on the side. So basically these are the messages that I have. It's like, I think 16 or 17 of them as well. Um, and they, they arrange and kind of spread out over a whole month, meaning someone you know opts in on one of your primary biz op lead capture pages that you're gonna be making with this system. Um, they're gonna be getting messages from you for about a month. Okay, and they're kind of spread out. It's not like every day, you know, there might be like every other day or what have you. And I'm gonna show you that frequency here in a second, but that's it. So I've got those messages right there. So what I gotta do now is right here, click on where it says copy all, cause I want all, you want all those messages. Just, just go ahead and bring them all over. When you click on that, it's actually gonna bring them over right there. Now I've got them. So at this point, what I gotta do, just save it. So guess what? Now you've got all those messages already saved and now what we have to do now, just like we did before, we got to set the predefined fields. Again, I'm not going to get into the details of that because I don't want to confuse anybody. All you got to do is just follow what I'm doing. Remember, pause, play, pause, play. So if you're on this page and this video is playing, just go ahead and pause it and then do what I just did and then come back when you're done and hit play again and go to the next step. Does that make sense? That's how you'll be able to follow. Sometimes some people like to watch the entire video and then go back and do the steps and then they get lost somewhere. So don't do that. Just go ahead and pause, play, pause, play, pause, play all the way through the process and you'll be good, okay? Now, so since we've saved it, it's already saved. What you gotta do now is go up there to the top, click on where it says messages. When you click on messages, again, it's gonna bring down that field, right? And what we want to do here, we want to click on right where it says manage autoresponder. Okay, we want to manage it. So we want to make sure that the message is actually uploaded into our system. So when you click on that, it's going to bring up those messages right here. As you can see, these are just a few of those right there. And I guess it's a screenshot, so it's not showing you all of them, I don't think, but it might be showing you all of them. But uh, again, these are all the different messages right here. And you can actually click on these and actually add you know, edit if you want to or what have you. But the way I'm setting this up, guys, I'm trying to make it to where it's hands off. You don't have to do anything. Have, trying to make it to where all your links and everything will already be set in there and all that good stuff. That's what this system can do to where you don't have to really put anything in there. So I'm trying to make it really, really simple. But I definitely encourage you later on as you get more and more, you know, um, familiar with the platform and, and building your business online, things of that nature. If you want to come in here and make some changes or, or even create your own campaign, you got your own, you know, you've been doing it. You got your own campaign now with your own emails that you came up with and, and created for your business opportunity. And that's great. That's exactly what we want you to do. Cause remember, it's not about me, the messages that I create, it's about you. You want to, you want to brand yourself. But again, for, if you're just starting out, this would be good for you. Okay. So from there, that's what it looks like. Everything should be straight. So what you want to do is go back to dashboard. So you click on dashboard. When you go back to dashboard. So again, what we're about to do now is to set up our predefined fields, just like we did in the last email or uh, last video. Uh, we, we did that those first, remember those two that we did in the previous email, in a previous video, I'm going to show you exactly what to do in this video as well. So what you want to do, if you're on the dashboard piece, again, you want to click on where it says your current campaign. So make sure you click on your current campaign. When you click on that, it's going to bring down a drop down field. And what you want to do is click on where it says predefined fields again. Okay. Click on that. And when you click on that, and there's going to be four that we need to create. Okay. Cause in those basically, let me see if I can explain this a little bit in those messages that I created, 
there's some code in certain spots of those messages. Some of that code says name, some of that code says phone number, some of that code says your website or what have you. So instead of you manually going to each and every particular message and putting in your website and putting in your phone number and putting in your whatever, this will automatically do it for you. This is what this process is. Okay, just to kind of, in a, in a nutshell, what that is. It's just basically saving you time. So imagine if you had a campaign that had like 100 emails in it. And would you want to go to every email and actually, or message and actually type in all that information? Oh no, it'll take you forever, right? That's where this comes into play, okay? It just saves you a lot of time. So, and I'm, I want to save you some time. So what we want to do, just like we did in the previous video, we want to set the predefined fields because there's special code in those messages. So all we have to do is set this up so all your information will be aligned in those messages. Okay. So what we got to do first, under predefined field name, I want you to type in company, C-O-M-P-A-N-Y. Just go ahead and type that in there just like that. Okay. As a matter of fact, pretty much anything that's on this side, you're just going to type it in just like the, the way it is. Okay. Anything on the left side, just a little hint. Type it in exactly how you see it there, okay? Now, on the right, you wanna put your company name. It's in red, why? Because I don't know what company that you're in. You're, you might be in this company or that company. So just go ahead and type in the name of that company right there, or a product or whatever it is that you're promoting. Just go ahead and put that information right there. So if you're in whatever, ABC company, or if you're in whatever, I mean, I don't wanna give out any names or whatever, but whatever the name of your network marketing or primary business opportunity is called, type that information here. That's why it's in red, because it doesn't know you need to type that information there. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so then what we gotta do is, you wanna make sure you check that box, make sure you click on add predefined field, and then Voila, boom, now it is set up in the system. We got three more to do. The next one is, and again, this is, as you can see guys, this is like simple, it's nothing hard at all. Just follow the video. That's all you gotta do, really, really simple. So the next one is, you wanna make sure that you put in name, just like that, N-A-M-E, name. Just type that in, N-A-M-E. The only reason I'm doing this guys because I wanna be very clear, okay? Just type that in. In the second field, remember, there's always something different there. So in the second field, you wanna put your name. Right here, I got an example. Why is it in red again? Because I don't know your name. I don't know who's watching this video right now. So just put your name. As you can see, I got an example, John Doe. So again, if I was doing this, I'll put Stephen Rachel or whatever, right? So again, if it's in red, it means that you gotta put your own personal information in that field. So put your name there. Then again, after that, click on the checkbox. Click on the add predefined field. Once you do that, boom, it's gonna be connected to the next one. We got two more to do. Next one is phone. You wanna just type in F, excuse me, phone. You wanna type in P-H-O-N-E. It's been a long day, guys, so, so bear with me. P-H-O-N-E, type that in. And then on the next one on the far right, you wanna put whatever your phone number is. I got an example, 555, like, like Hollywood, right? 555-555-5555, right? So whatever your phone number is, just type that phone number in just like that and, uh, and you'll be good. And then again, check, check the box, click the button, and boom. Now that's in there as well. Last but not least, your website, your company opportunity websites. But again, just type in website, W-E-B-S-I-T-E. -E. Type that in, okay? Just website, just like that. Very important, guys. You have to do it exactly how I'm showing you here in the black. If you get a character off or something, it's not gonna work. Has to be exactly how it is. Capital W-E-B-S-I-T-E, okay? It makes sense? All right, so, and then on the right, put in whatever your website is. I don't know what your website is. So whatever your company gives you a website or whatever, Type that website, whatever your link is. Everybody got their links, right? So whatever your link is to your business opportunity, put that link there, okay? So again, that's why it's there. So I don't know what your site is, so you'll be able to put that information in. And again, check the box, click the button, boom. Now that's it. That's it for the predefined fields for your business opportunity, okay? So as you can see, and let me kind of explain a little bit, just real quick, where it says company name, phone, and website, and a lot of those messages it talks about the company. So 
if you got your name of your company in that field, it'll automatically put the name of that company in all those messages. Okay, uh, your name, it can do, it'll do the same thing. So if it, some, some of those messages will have like your phone number where you can have your phone number there. Well, it, 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 it's gonna automatically put your phone number in all those different messages. So it's gonna keep you from having to go to all 16, 17 of those messages and manually put it in. It'll automatically do it for you, okay? How about that? Modern technology, I tell you. Something, something pretty, pretty cool, all right? So that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to setting it up. So congratulations. What have you done so far? You set up your autoresponder. Well, one, congratulations, because now you got an autoresponder and you set it up for your MLSP you know, uh, campaigns that they have to help you get a lot of leads. There's a lot of lead magnets within MLSP. And you also set up your autoresponder for your primary business opportunity as well. We've done that, so you're set. So again, congratulations. There's a few other things that we're gonna need to do just to complete this whole process. And again, that's the reason why I'm setting all this up, guys. This is so, so important for your business long-term. Now, I don't know about you, but I know when I decided to become serious or take this internet marketing thing serious, I said, I need to do what the top marketers are doing. I need an autoresponder. I need to start building a list. Everybody always talks about building a list. You gotta build a list, Steve, are you building a list? You know, I, I remember in the beginning, I'm like, what do you mean a list? I got a list of names and numbers in my phone. No, are you building a list? Well, why do I need to build a list? So I said, well, do you wanna to continue to market and, and build a fan base of people five years from now, 10 years from now. I say, yeah, we'll keep saving names and emails and you'll never have to find anybody no more. You can just send out broadcast messages all the time and, and get sales like crazy, right? That's what it's about. It's about building relationships with people, not just spamming and, and pitching people all the time, but building relationships because that's what a lot of those emails will do. A lot of those emails that you just set up in your system, a lot of them are just asking questions. You know, building relationships with those people that are opting in into your website. So, so again, we're gonna find out a lot more on that. So, so in the next video, we got a few other things to finish. You know, in, in, in terms of getting all this set up, I'm gonna show you how to integrate. You know, your autoresponder and everything all set up to your Miley System Pro account and a lot of the, your different campaigns and and things of that nature. Really, really simple. So, we, this is the the big part of it. It's all done. And again, if you need to go back and watch it and pause, play, pause, play. Just go back and watch it, pause, play, and you'll, you'll be able to get it all set. You know, So again, pause, play, that, that'll save you a lot of time, all day, for real, if you do it that way. And, and it'll definitely set everything up. But if you got any questions, definitely reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. So, hey, with that said, that's it for this part. Don't go to the next one until you got your MLSP autoresponder and your primary biz op autoresponder email set up. Don't go to the next one until that's done. If it is done, and you're ready for the next step, we'll see you on the next video.